Okay, so we'll move on to uh, question number 17. They say two particles P and Q, both of mass 80 grams are attached. Okay, so mass, that's why uh, it, I said grams, okay, not 80 G. Mass, so it's 80 grams, okay, are attached to the ends of a, a light inextensible string of length 30 centimeters. Okay, so you have particle P and Q. So P and Q are attached to the ends of a, a 30 centimeter string. Okay, so one particle is P, the other particle is Q. You can see. And they say particle P is on a smooth horizontal table. So basically you have like a table. Okay, so there is a smooth horizontal table. Okay. So particle P is on a smooth horizontal table. Okay. Uh, and they say the string, this string, passes through a small smooth hole in the center of the table. Okay, so in the center of the table there is a hole, and what ha what's happening here is your string, it passes through this hole. Okay, and they are saying uh, passes through a small smooth hole in the center of the table, and particle Q hangs really below the table. So basically, the other side over here, this part of the table, I mean, it goes. So down over here, you have particle Q who is hanging. Can you guys see the force diagram now? So particle P and Q are there. So this the string is going through a smooth hole in the center of the table. And then Q is directly hanging below that. And they are saying uh, Q hangs freely below the table. The other end of the string P, so over here you have particle P, right? This is particle Q. And they say P is moving on a circular path. So P is moving on a circular path. So particle P is moving on a circular path around. So it's like this, can you see? P is moving on a circular path about the center of the table at constant linear speed, okay? So the linear, uh, find the linear speed. Basically, they want you to find the V. The linear speed is meters per second V, right? Find the linear speed at which P must move with Q within equilibrium 10 centimeters below the table. So guys, if this length is 10 centimeters, okay, what do you think about the radius of the circle? I think because they said the whole string was 30 centimeters, right? So if the whole string is 30 centimeters and 10 centimeters of it is uh, below the table, it means what? If this length is 10 centimeters, they are saying if uh, P must move with Q within equilibrium, no, find the linear speed at which P must move with Q within equilibrium 10 centimeters below the table. So this length, whatever the length after passing through the hole, uh, that length is 10 centimeters. So this whole length is 10 centimeters, which means what? Particle P is moving in a circle with radius how much? All right, so then uh, if this is 10 centimeters below the table, you need to understand that the radius is going to be how much? The radius, the other part of the string is going to be the remaining length, 20 centimeters. So in other words, your radius is 20 centimeters. Okay, and then, uh, okay, so that's one, one important thing you need to realize. Uh, P is moving on a circular path about the center of the table at a constant linear speed. Okay, so basically your task is to find the linear speed. They're asking you to find the V. Okay, not the angular speed, but the linear speed. All right, so uh, next thing is, uh, before we uh, do anything else, you must mark all the forces, all the forces that are relevant here. Okay, so obviously, I think you can see here, because the particle P is on top of the table, right? So if it's on top of a table, you'll have normal reaction acting upwards, isn't it? Because the particle is touching the table, normal reaction acting upwards, weight acting downwards. So these are vertical. These are vertical. So weight is actually, uh, you can see, okay, mass is 80 G. Now remember, we, when you are going to use this, uh, use the values, you have to have them in kilogram. Even the uh, centimeter length must be in meters in order for these equations to work correctly. Okay, so I'll just for now put N G. Uh, and then what about the centripetal force? So you can see R and M G are the vertical forces. So if you consider vertical equilibrium, R and M G. But uh, what about the force towards the center? Either you can see because you have a string and particle P is performing uh, a, a, a circular motion uh, because of the string, you have what? The centripetal force in this situation is the tension. 
the tension is the force acting towards the center and you can see since this string uh, the same string right it passes through this hole and goes down you have equal opposite tension on the other part of the string as well right because it's a smooth hole they say it's a smooth hole so therefore the tension doesn't need to change so the uh, the, the tension over here is also t and over here this particle is hanging in equilibrium so it has mass 80 uh, the mass is mg shall i input the correct value what's the correct value uh, so mass 80 g means uh, 0 0.08 kilograms is it 0 0.08 kilogram right which means uh, the weight is 0 0.08 g Zero point zero eight G. Okay, so now the force diagram is complete. All you need to do is to uh, calculate the uh, linear speed. So, what are the use, uh, rules we use? We can go with vertical equilibrium and F equal MA towards the center. So, in this case, the vertical equilibrium that we really require is this one, right? So I think you can see uh, when you consider particle Q. Okay, so when you consider particle Q. Okay, you can see T is equal to 0 0.08 G directly by vertical equilibrium. Okay, so uh, particle uh, P also vertical equilibrium if you consider normal reaction is also equal to 0. 0.8 g, but actually, yeah, it's not uh, uh, much required here. We do not need uh, an interaction with normal reaction, but still, uh, okay, <clears throat> okay. So uh, it's the tension we require. Really. Okay, so even normal reaction equal to 0 0.08 g, you can write it down. But we don't need the normal reaction anywhere throughout the sum. Yes, we need to find the tension here. So the next thing we need to do is, uh, I mean, we need to find the linear speed. Okay, so tension is what we really require. So we will apply F equal MA towards center to particle Q. Because particle, uh, sorry, F equal MA towards center to particle P because particle P is the one performing horizontal circular motion. Okay. Okay, so when you consider the horizontal circular motion, again, you need to realize uh, the vertical forces play no part, right? Because the tension is acting on the table horizontally. Normal reaction and weight are acting vertically, isn't it? When you are considering the table, so, okay, normal reaction is vertically upwards, weight is vertically downwards, tension is uh, uh, acting horizontally, okay? Because these two guys are perpendicular, isn't it? So basically normal reaction, the weight has no impact on the uh, horizontal circular motion. So the only force that we need to consider here is the tension. The, the tension is a centripetal force. That's the only centripetal force we have considering the circular motion of P. So equals mass. Mass is 0 0.08. Make sure it's in kilograms into acceleration. So for acceleration, we will use uh, R omega square and V square over R. I will use uh, V square over R because I want to find the linear speed, V. Okay. So tension we just found out is 0 0.08 G equals 0 0.08 into V square over radius is 20 centimeters. So don't use 20, use it in meters, <clears throat> 0 0.2 meters. All right, so now time to make V the subject. I think I can see 0 0.08 cancels out on both sides. So I get here 0 0.2 G equal V square. So basically V is 0.2 G, the root of it. So this is the linear speed, okay? So when you use G as 9.8 here, I think we get an exact answer, 1.4 meters per second. Okay, so it's already in an exact answer and it's uh, in two SF, so you don't need to uh, do anything more. Okay, so if you get more extra decimals and if you use G as 9.8, you need to reduce. But over here, anyway, we get an exact answer, so you can leave the answer as 1.4 meters per second. Or you could leave your answer even in the relevant fraction form, that's also, no, uh, yeah. Okay, uh, leave it in 1.4 actually. Okay, so keep the answers 1.4 meters per second because you use G as 9.8. Okay. <clears throat>